Hi, I'm Zell Lewis from Honeysuckle, and we're gonna be using California avocados to make your guacamole. Since California avocados are seasonal and only available from spring through fall, I'm gonna share three different ways to make your guacamole so you can mix up your guacamole game this season. We'll start with a classic guacamole and then try some fun flavors that's sure to be a hit. California avocados are in season from spring through fall, so it's the perfect time to enjoy at a backyard barbecue or to enjoy as a heart-healthy, satisfying snack. For a classic guacamole, we just need a few simple ingredients. I'll start by adding some ripe California avocados into my bowl. The best way to tell if a California avocado is ripe and ready for immediate use is to gently squeeze the fruit in the palm of your hand. Ripe, ready-to-eat fruit will be firm but yield to gentle pressure. The Haas variety, pronounced Haas, not Haas, was named after a man who planted and nurtured the first Haas avocado trees in the 1920s right here in California. The peel is also distinctive in that it turns from green to purplish black when it's ripe and ready to eat. So peel the avocado. In California avocados, the greatest concentration of beneficial carotenoids is in the dark green fruit of the avocado closest to the peel. So quarter and peel when you can instead of scooping. Now add onions, garlic, lime, tomatoes, jalapeno, cumin, cilantro, and a bit of salt. Just mash it all together and then transfer to a dipping bowl. Scoop up with chips and enjoy. This will be best stored in the fridge for up to three days. Now let's infuse our guacamole with some fun flavors. I love the pairing of bacon and California avocados, so this bacon guacamole is a no-brainer. It's a bit smoky, meaty, and oh so good. We'll start by cooking off the bacon in a pan. Once the bacon is done cooking, I'll transfer it to a plate and let it cool. Now I like to cook the minced garlic and onions just for a minute to add some depth and really soak up that bacon flavor. And now into a bowl, I'll add my California avocados, the garlic, onion, cilantro, cumin, some cherry tomatoes, some jalapenos, salt, lime juice, and our bacon that I've already crumbled into large chunks. To serve, I'll just add the guacamole to a bowl and garnish it with more bacon on top, and you can enjoy it with your favorite veggies to dip. We like broccoli, florets, carrots, radishes, anything fresh and crunchy. For the smoky Southwest guacamole, we're gonna take a different approach with our California avocados. We're gonna grill them to bring out a smoky, delicious flavor. We'll start by grilling our California avocados. I always like to choose larger avocados for grilling and you just need to cut it in half. Remove the seed with a spoon and then brush the top with some olive oil and place on a hot grill for two to three minutes. When cool enough to touch, remove and peel the avocados into a bowl. Next, add some fire roasted corn, black beans, purple onions, tomatoes, cilantro, cumin, lime juice, and salt. Grilling our California avocados just gives it so much depth of flavor. Mm. It's a little bit smoky, and there's that texture from the black beans and the fire roasted corn. Mm. This one is delicious. While guacamole is best eaten right after it's made, there may come a few times where you need to store some leftovers. The trick to keep it fresh and from oxidizing is making sure air doesn't touch it. Transfer the guacamole to a container, cover it with plastic or reusable wrap, and press down on the wrap to squeeze out any air pockets. This will be best stored in the fridge up to three days. Another question that's often asked is, is guacamole still good if it's a little brown at the top? The short answer is yes, though it's not very appetizing. You can either scrape the brown spots off or stir it into the guacamole. Be sure to check out the below for more guacamole tips. I hope you enjoyed these fun guacamole ideas. No matter how you enjoy your guacamole, California avocados will give you the taste mm. you crave and the nutrition your body needs. To ensure you're enjoying locally grown avocados, be sure to check for the California on the label from spring through fall.